I'm looking for someone to rev my engine. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, saucy. I'll rev your engine. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamble with me, Josh and Host, and today we're joined by the star of Mortal Engines, Hera Hilma! Hey! Your ca character is so complex in this. Yeah. And she is layered. Yeah, right? <laughs> be, yeah. Be layered. Now, what would you say if I was going to say to you, fill out a dating profile for your character, what would oh the top God. line bio be? I don't know, she'd be going like, I'm wild, mysterious, um, I like to spend time on my own thinking about who I'm gonna kill. Walks in the dark at night mm. and I don't know, she would sound like a, a yes. serial killer, wouldn't yeah, she? Yeah, like a psychopath. Yeah. And also in this, you do a lot of eye work. It's yeah, all about the eye work. I know, but with you know. the scarf. But like, did you have to like channel your inner Tyra Banks? Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, we started filming everything with a scarf mm. and Christian kept coming to me being like, Hera, I think we need a bit more of... I'm like, what are you What are you expecting me to do? I'm I'm acting my socks off with my <laughs> eyes right now. <laughs> and when they cover all this up, you have to start to do like way more like, which mm. would look ridiculous if I didn't have... That's some very mobile eyebrows you've got there. I'm like, stop it. But if I was going to channel my inner like Hera intense look, yeah. how can I do it? Like really start to get tension in your kind of mm -hmm. eyebrows and and just try to really focus on like what gives you a headache. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I'm basically getting one just thinking about it. Are that. you? Yeah. Okay, and then just sort of peer your eyes a little bit like, you're, like you can't really see. So maybe get the mouth a bit tense too. Yeah, that's really that's, good. Is that good? Yeah. I thought that was me for a second oh, when I looked at you. Stop! No, I'm just, yeah. Get me in the sequel. <laughs> what is amazing about this is you are a strong, powerful woman in it. Yeah. But what I find really crazy about this yes. is that still in 2018, you're going into interviews and mm -hmm. people are saying to you, you're a strong, powerful woman, how's that feel? For you personally, how yeah. do you feel about constantly being asked that question when actually we would never actually even ask a man that? It's a good question because I think first of all this whole idea of what is a strong woman is a mm. very kind of odd in a way because I think what in films makes sometimes women and female characters strong is just that they're actually properly written. Mm. Like they have, you know, details, they have layers. And I genuinely think that we kind of read very often into characters from what we see and I, and I think What's great about Hester is that we see all these colors as she mm. goes on such a big journey. And in a way she's written like so many male characters are written. But it's it's also that thing, isn't it? That it's so easy to say like, you know, you're a strong woman, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll give that to you. Yeah. You're strong, you know, but what does it mean? Like, mm. I still want, you know, it's, it's that thing you can be strong, but like, are you going to give me the same screen time? Are you going to give yeah. me all the layers of a character? And, and you know, I don't know. It's. Strength is so many different things. Mm. And, and you are yeah. strong in this. Well. Serving it up. <laughs> Serving up that strength. Trying to. Okay.